Hi, I'm Zach with Whole Latte Love, and today we're here to talk a little bit about the convex versus flat tamper. Now, this is a common question that we get, and people often ask, what is the difference between the two? What will I notice? And today we're here really to show you that. So we're going to start off over here with our flat tampers, and we've actually done a tamp on both of these portafilters that we'll show you here in a, a moment, but with a flat tamper you want to make sure that you have a good flat pressure onto the coffee grounds, and the reason you want that is because if you favor one side or the other, you're going to get an uneven level of grounds, therefore the water is going to pass through faster or slower to one side. So you can actually see an uneven tamp from a flat tamper here in this portafilter. And then if you look at this portafilter, it has a good uh, solid tamp pressure, it's flat across the top, you're not going to get any channeling with it, and it's ultimately going to give you a good shot of espresso. Now, over here we actually have our convex tamper, and the bottom of the tamper is a little bit of a point at the middle. Now, the theory behind this is that when you tamp down, it's going to cause the grounds to get pushed down and out a little bit. And what that's nice for is because it creates a good tight seal between the coffee grounds and the edge of the basket, therefore no water is going to get in between those two or channel down and bypass the grounds. You'll get a good, slow extraction with that and ultimately get a good shot of espresso. Now you also notice that there is all different shapes and sizes. Um, I prefer to have a good heavy stainless steel one. Um, it's just nice to have that little bit of weight. You can see they come in all stainless steel. You can get a nice rosewood top. And then the convex we actually have is a uh, calibrated tamper. So when you press down, it's going to click at about 30 pounds of pressure. And that's nice because it's going to give you consistency. So you're not going to get um, you know, more or less of a tamp each time. You'll just go to, go to the click and then you'll know you've reached the right pressure. So that was a look at flat versus convex tampers. If, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call. Once again, I'm Zach, and thanks for joining us.